Today we're trying something I was really interested in. It seems really cool. So it's described as a scary VR experience. Now, there's no controller. It's all gesture based and it's choice based. So what I'm guessing it's going to be is like you nod your head yes or no. And supposedly there's different outcomes based on the choices you make throughout it. So I have no idea what to expect, but I'm super excited to get in and see what this is all about. It's apparently a tie in to a game called uh, 1979 Black Friday Revolution, something like that. Uh, and this came with it, but I believe that game is all flat, unfortunately. That's not VR, but this is supposed to be scary, it's supposed to be thrilling, and I'm pretty excited to get in, so let's check it out. I want to say welcome to a whole bunch more subscribers again. Uh, Liam Kalen, Lol What, David Turinek, Desmond Bjork, Bjork? I don't know how to say that one, uh, Evil Genius Mojo, Jeremy Price, Ethanol, Austin Lambert, welcome. Thank you so much to everybody who's hanging out the channel. Let's go see what Blindfold is all about. You'll be asked questions, they answer them nod yes or no. Okay. Nod yes to continue. So I need to not accidentally turn my head here. <laughs> Yes, there. I got it. Let us in! You're under arrest! We're jumping. We're jumping right into prison. A prison in Iran. Oh, jeez, okay. What the heck? Mass executions unleashed by Iran's new regime. Crime, treason, confession. Oh, gosh. I guess no one's asking me questions, so I can look around right now. I do not like the Russian roulette style gun on the table. And the freaking waterboarding torture thing over there. And torture tools on the walls. And cameras everywhere. This is... This is already an extremely uncomfortable situation. I'm guessing someone's gonna show up here. Can I read this? It's oh, it's hard to see. My name is Blah. It's confessing the crime which jeopardized the national security of our country. I have ah, stop that. I have sinned against my faith. I did not act alone. I took hundreds of fake photographs and distributed these to international newspapers in an effort to overthrow the Islamic Republic of Iran. I was brainwashed by Western spies and forced into betraying our country. My name so, yeah, you, you get the message. And you are running out of time. Hello. Choose your answers wisely. I, we will I can sense that. Oh God! He was oh once God. like you. They're my family too. The fire. I'm sorry, we're. So <laughs> screwed. Get him now. Do it. <laughs> That's yes. It must oh be my tough. gosh! Too bad. For now, when I ask you a question, you will answer by nodding your head. I record all my sessions. Please don't turn the camera on. That makes things so much more uncomfortable. <laughs> I, yeah, I just said that, but I have a gag in, so you can't hear me. Just not. Yes or no. Okay, I got it. Thank you for your family. Oh, God. As a photographer, you should be very comfortable with the camera. Everything I'm usually behind it, not in front of it. Oh, God. Pasha! Isn't that right? Ah, it seems my treatment of him upsets you. Should I get rid of him? No. You're merciful to a traitor No, like no. Oh God, that was probably a bad choice. But I don't want to watch you kill him. Oh jeez. I wonder. Do you yeah, I am. God? If I shake my head yes, will you kill me though? Do you believe that you will go to heaven? Good. 
Because hell is what yeah. I'm trying to save you from. <laughs> you helped us overthrow the Shah. That I'm just gonna shake my head whatever I want you to think. But then you took pictures accusing us of heinous acts against our own people. Do you deny that this is your camera? Well... So you admit it. We found it no. hidden in your home, and your mother put up quite well, a fight. Now she is here in Evan for rehabilitation. After maybe, all, maybe it's her camera. Mother, who creates the fateful martyr? Did you think your actions wouldn't have consequences? Did you not use your camera to attack us? You did. He keeps but asking questions. I don't know. Disgraced. Our I don't know nation. when he is actually asking me to say it. The ministry of to respond. I don't know what he wants. You with treason. I'm oh, determined that you took photos for the foreign press in order to destabilize the Islamic Republic of Iran. Are you ready to cooperate? Excellent. I have no compassion for people who waste my time. Oh gosh. I don't know this this uh, stuff here. I feel like they kind of have me dead to right, so I'm probably gonna end up dying. I'm sorry. Do they just make everyone they, they made me do confess. this and sign it? They were gonna hurt my family. They forced me to say this. Push with it. I'm in the no, same boat, you dude. Confess, you were the if anyone understands you, it's me. Oh God. He was angry Jeez. and resistant, and now just look at him. He begs for mercy, but where was the compassion for those who died because of his actions? He named you as a collaborator. Well, it looks like he you guys were killing the people. Reason we found you. Do you hate him? You don't. You show mercy to the man who betrayed. No, he's in the same. He's in the same situation as I am. Well, maybe, maybe you can show mercy to me if I betrayed you. Look at this, baby. Boy, this is crazy. You took this picture and gave it to the foreign press, didn't you? Yeah. I saw it in the paper. To do so. You spread false information yeah. to damage the spirits of your own people. An act of treason that only I can save you. False? Do you that, hear me? You can see in the picture they're killing now, them. Are you ready to admit your guilt? Yeah. Good. Is there yeah. Now tell me the truth and name your collaborator. Because you're going to kill my family if I don't. Probably going to kill my family anyways. Dick. Tell him. Tell him what he wants to hear. Behesh Begu. Confess that you were the leader. There's no other way. This is why torture is bad. Because they'll tell you anything they want to hear. Whether it's right or wrong. This is what you will do. You will confess to everything. Do you hear me? You will confess to being the leader of these traitors. Yeah. You will give us all the details we require and hope. Oh, that doesn't that sound good. Faithful leaders have mercy on your soul. <laughs> oh God. Okay, don't kill the dude. Oh God, he's gonna kill him anyways, isn't he? Tell someone the truth. Are you ready to confess? Oh God. Good. Yeah. Let oh, jeez. I said yes. Again. Yes. Just, oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, stop. We will die here in My face was over now. here, but okay. To the camera and confess. I know. But if our families don't die, then we did the right thing, right? <sighs> Am I supposed to read that? You kind of covered up the picture and I can't move it. Dedicated to those who sacrificed for a free press. Shot after his critical reporting on a prison meeting between corrupt lawmakers. 
imprisoned after the Ministry of Intelligence and the Islamic Revolutionary Guards, recent roundups of journalists prior to the May 2017 presidential elections. Sentenced to seven years in prison for charges including assembly against national security and insulting the Supreme Leader. Okay, it's not telling me about them. Sentenced to four years in prison and 50 lashes on multiple charges asking against national security, espionage, and cooperating with foreign embassies. Jeez, kids killed by an Islamic State sniper while photographing the front lines of a battle in the city of Sirte. Man, this hits on some some serious... Oh, I guess I could rotate these if I actually have my controller. This hits on some really serious points here uh, that a lot of times we always think we always think that anyone who confesses to a crime did it but there is a lot of forced confessions there's coercion there's threatening uh there's actually a, a kind of interesting movie i think it's through an australian production company where it's it's an interesting take on it because he's kind of being forced into confessing but then you start to wonder if he actually did it uh, it's definitely interesting. I think it's on Netflix. I'd recommend going and watching it. I don't know. I'll put the name here on the screen. I'll look it up and what it is. But it's it's interesting. It can kind of show you some perspective too. But this one's this is a serious... I think it's only $2 for this experience. So I'd recommend go through it. Try it yourself. It's, it's really cool. And you can try a different choice and see what happens. Obviously, I... I tried to take the path of doing what they wanted so that my family wouldn't get killed. I bet if I had been defiant at all, they probably would have killed me. I don't know. He might have drug in a family member. But it makes me really interested in the game that this is a company to. Uh, I don't think it's in VR, but I do have it. It's uh, something I'll definitely check out, at least on my own time. But thanks for uh, hanging out. And uh, that was that was really cool. Very, uh, very sobering. <laughs> so I will see you in another game.